I'm on the corner of Door and Howard, and this is the San Franciscans, San Francisco. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stay right here at Columbus and Jack Kerouac Alley, AKA Adler Alley. We're gonna spend the day probably within about 200 feet of this section, calling it five bars in a bookstore. Yes, indeed. We've got Chinatown just up the alley that way. A Couple places to my right, Specs and Tosca. Back behind me is the Transamerica Pyramid. We're gonna be going to Vesuvio's right behind me and wrap it all up at Mr. Bing's. So join us on this adventure. Let's have a fun day, check out some books, have a few drinks, and it's all gonna be right here. City Lights was founded in 1953 by Lawrence Ferling Getty and Peter D. Martin. It started out as the nation's first all paperback bookstore. In 1955, Ferling Getty started publishing the Pocket Poets series, which includes Howl by Allen Ginsberg, Scattered Poems by Jack Kerouac, and Golden Sardine by Bob Kaufman. Let us not forget Ferlinghetti's own work, Coney Island of the Mind. Giving voice to these writers and others made City Lights the epicenter of the beat movement. What keeps City Lights great is, as they say, the hand-picked quality of what you see on the shelves. What you see and feel and hear is a conversation. It's an exchange of ideas and viewpoints. My favorite spot here is the poetry room. Walk in, head up the stairs, find a book, sit down and read. City Lights also has a lively events calendar. We'll get a link to that up on our website under featured favorites. Right now we're directly across the street from Jack Kerouac Alley, City Lights Books, and we're at Adler Alley and Columbus. And back here, tucked away in this little nook, is probably my favorite bar in the city. No joke, it's Specs. Let's go check it out. A lot of crazy stuff in here. God, I love Specs. It is one of the most amazing bars in the city of San Francisco. You've got to check it out. Uh, number one, it's so dark in there. You cannot get a shot at all, period. That's why we're outside. Number two, um, when you get here, take a really good look around. About midway on the left-hand wall, there's actually a plaque that has the entire history from when this building was originally built to really to today. Along the walls are just tons of scrimshaw, statues, carvings, all kinds of stuff. It has the real feel of a, of a merchant marine kind of place. And there are a lot of posters, original posters from the war, loose lips sink ships and things of that nature. It's a really amazing place. When you get here, I like to order an anchor steam and ask for some Fontina cheese. They have a big, big circle of it. They'll cut you a wedge, specs, get some Fontina. Also, gentlemen, in the far back of the bar to the right, that's how you get to the men's room. And this is one of my favorite men's rooms in the city, hands down. So you go up a couple crickety steps, up a crickety ramp, and you get to this room and it's lit. If you look up, those glass circles are on the sidewalk of Broadway, right beneath the uh, Garden of Eden Strip Club. Great place to take a leak. So there you have it. Don't forget specs, cash only. So uh, bring some bills and uh, spend them. Yeah, we got some bad news today. That is that Tosca directly next door is closed for renovation right now. I'm certain they'll be open here yeah, probably in the summer or something, but uh, we won't be going there today. Last time I went there, they had a jukebox full of 45s, all opera. Surprise, surprise. Great place for a late night cocktail. That's how I recall it. Dress up a little bit. You might be surprised who you run into there. Hmm. One of my favorite bars right on the edge of the Chinatown North Beach border, the Bao Bao. Let's see what happens. Gotta be honest. Bao Bao's 
changed a little bit, but it's still kind of the same dive that it used to be. It's a lot darker, a lot more red, but 15 bar stools, that's all the seating there is. I was still the only person in there, but my understanding is uh, they do have karaoke seven nights a week starting at nine o'clock. I tell you what we're gonna do, we're still in uh, Jack Kerouac Alley. We're gonna head that way and see what they got going on over at Vesuvio's. Come on, let's go. Just got out of Vesuvio's after a couple of pops and I can tell you this, still a super cool old place. A small place, two levels. Seems like people here are getting effed up and uh, strongly suggest that this is a good spot here. Nowadays, Mr. Bing's, a noted Chinatown dive, is a cozy Irish pub. Here are the do's and the don'ts. Do stop into City Lights and read a book. Do go to Specs. What's inside will amaze you. And do go to Vesuvio's. It's a fun place with great atmosphere. Don'ts. Don't forget the Fontina cheese. And don't forget to bring cash. There are a lot of great, uniquely San Francisco experiences to be had within a stone's throw of Jack Kerouac Alley. And yes, I take my friends here. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. Because I'll share with the things I know and love about San Francisco. Join me on this adventure. Come on, let's go. Subscribe now.